Hey, what's up everybody, Elite Drafter back with a new video. So now I wanna talk about some of the stages on moving forward with all these things happening in the crisis. A lot of people are concerned with their health. A lot of people are concerned and even are scared to go out. Uh, they're not even sure of what the state of the economy is gonna be in a couple of days. And honestly speaking, it's very scary. We all know that there's a lot of things happening. That's, there's a lot of uncertainty that's happening. And I wanted to obviously come back to you guys with this video and give you some guidance on what are some of the things that you can do immediately to kind of position yourself um, straight ahead uh, and straight away with your personal credit profiles. The first step you need to do obviously is you need to communicate with your creditors. If you have debts that are carrying over and uh, you've basically come in close to a late payment, uh, pick up the phone. That's the first thing you need to do. You got to pick up the phone and you got to make sure that you communicate with your creditors. Call them up and say, look, hey, look, uh, I'm in a situation right now. I know I'm going to be late uh, and I want to make sure that, uh, you know, you can give me some sort of extension to work out some agreement. And the reason you want to do that is because there's things that are happening now um, that's basically very dangerous for you to stay late because creditors are being generous. They're giving extensions to people. Uh, they're being generous and they're getting offerings of funding um, and they're giving offerings of, of credit to individuals who are basically willing to work with them. So make sure that you take your time uh, to essentially go out there and explain to the creditors the reason why you're going through the situation, the hardship, and try and get an extension from them. There's nothing bad that's going to happen for you to try and attempt that. So that's the first thing. Communicate with your creditors right away. Don't wait. Don't delay. The more you delay, the more dangerous it becomes. First, that's the step number one. Step number two on how to overcome some of the challenges that you're going through financially, especially in these times, is to make sure that you communicate with your existing creditors that even if you're not late, to ask them for extensions of credit. It's a very basic step that you need to do, but while you're at it, you know, especially when you're trying to fix the ones that you're about to become late with, but the ones that you're not becoming late with, communicate with them and ask them, hey, give me an opportunity uh, with, with more credit because I will need it. And definitely, like, have you seen my history with you? I'm always on time. I'm always paying my bills. So uh, why don't you consider helping me out in this time of need? And in most cases, they're very friendly and they definitely will work with you. It's a question of you got to go there and you're going to make sure that you take the effort of asking uh, for those limit extensions because, you know, that's where it happens. If you don't ask, uh, chances are you'll never get it. So you have to take the time to ask and you have to take the time. Uh, to basically get those extensions from these type of creditors. So that was step number two on how to go about uh, some of the things that are happening in the situation, how to overcome them. So the first we talked about is get those late payments taken care of if you're about to become late, communicate with your creditor and get some sort of extension or some sort of courtesy extension, whether it be a 30 or 60 days. Second step, obviously communicate with your existing creditors, get limit increases. That's gonna definitely help you out if you know exactly uh, you know, what are some of the steps that you need to take. So do that also. And then finally, the third step we're going to talk about is what are some of the repercussions of the credit situation of all this type of things that are happening? Uh, you know, what's the state of the union essentially when it comes to credit and funding? Uh, how are things going to change in those scenarios coming forward? Obviously, nobody can predict the future. But if you look at some of the trends that happened in the past, what are some of the things that happened in the past that really dictate the way things are going with personal credit? The dictate that, that you know, you're basically in a scenario where you can use that information and take advantage of the, of the situation as well uh, by adapting to that information and making those quick actions. It's going to definitely help you. So first thing you have to typically understand is due to the way things are going, obviously, there's going to be more restrictions with a lot of different things. But governments are basically looking to protect those capital institutions like banks and these type of institutions. And basically, uh, if you offer you know, the, the opportunity to yourself uh, to go out there and try to basically explore, shop around, you know, beyond the damage that's being done, uh, you know, when the world gets back to normal, when the paces go back to normal, you gotta take your chance to investigate these institutions, do your research, um, follow the news, you know, look at what's happening with these institutions, follow, uh, you know, what are some of the programs that are being offered? Some of the things that they're offering these financial institutions can actually benefit you. Some of these things can actually take you forward, believe it or not. A lot of people believe that all oh, these institutions are just linear with their programs and they just give one thing and then basically they expect everybody to adapt to that one thing. But the reality is because of the circumstances that we're going through now, nobody really predicted how things were going to go, right? So a lot of banks and institutions are adapting to this whole situation, this whole surface. And they're going to create programs to accommodate uh, the, the, the economy, the local situation. They're going to create programs to accommodate, you know, some of those infrastructures that are that are out there. And this is a great time 
to really think ahead and, and really reorganize your budget, your finances, your credit around those type of situations and how you can go out there and adapt to those changes as well. Because once you do that, right, once you do that and once you're comfortable with that and once you're you know, basically trying to figure out, hey, what's my next step with these type of people? Should I go for credit unions? Should I go for major banks? What kind of credit card should I apply for? What's my next financial move? It's really a question of preparation. So if you're prepared, which is a third step on moving forward based on the situation that we're at, it's really doing your research beyond that, right? Go go beyond there and the norm and, and continue doing your research and, you know, try to figure out a way uh, that you can benefit from all this. And, you know, not in a cruel way, obviously, but you, you want to see what are some of the things that you can get out of this, right? Um, and that's really what the, the, the chances are. A, a trick to this also, like let's say if you have a large balance somewhere with high interest, right? Um, and institutions are willing to offer you 0% rates to, to get you by. Uh, it's a great time to transfer some of those balances. And you might be wondering, well, how can I do that? Well, it's simple. There's a company called Plastic, uh, P-L-S, P-L-A-S-T-I-Q. They pay, you know, vendors and stuff like that. What you can do is you can basically write a check to the other institutions. Uh, sometimes they'll charge you interest rates, obviously on those, but contact your credit card company and to see if they have that balance transfer option as well on the 0%. And then use that opportunity to pay down some of the balances. The, the, the best that comes out of it is your limit, right? It helps you with your limit. It helps you with the payment history. Uh, it saves you money. Obviously, you're not paying extra interest, right? So it definitely saves you money and you can allocate that capital somewhere else uh, to, to help your situation. So, you know, those are some of the top three things I think that you can take advantage of when it comes to moving forward based on some of the problems and challenges that we're facing today uh, with this whole situation with the pandemic and everything. And I really wanted to, you know, touch back with you guys. I've been doing a couple of live streams if you can follow me there. And obviously uh, I'm going to be answering a couple of questions even more than what I'm doing in these type of videos. But just a quick video and a reminder for you guys. And I really want you to think about some of the things that you can do, like I said, moving forward. If you haven't had the chance to work on your personal credit, I think that this is the time. Now, most people will be like, oh, it's kind of too late for that now. Uh, there's nothing that I can really work on. And that's not the truth. The truth is, it's not too late. It's never too late to work on your personal credit. Honestly, you have to give yourself the opportunity to try things to adjust your credit. You have to give yourself the opportunity to really position yourself to fix your credit, right? Because if you don't fix your credit, what's going to happen is you're going to be stuck. You're going to be in a situation you're not comfortable you're not going to feel good about that. And then basically you're going to miss a lot of a lot of opportunities that are coming and, and the ride and the wave, you know, to drive you forward and to build a lot of wealth. So work on your credit even during these hard times. You're at home, take the time to educate yourself, do things that are unorthodox to your regular schedule, get uncomfortable with certain things. But at the end of the day, you're going to benefit greatly, right? So it's all for you. So that's it for me today. Uh, I hope everybody's staying safe and well. This is your guide and mentor. If you're new to this channel, you haven't subscribed, consider subscribing. Turn that bell icon on so every time there's informative, credit, wealth, and financial related videos, you'll be first to be notified. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. What do you guys think about what's happening right now? What are some of the thoughts for you guys uh, with the banking system? Do you think the banking system will change for the better or for the worse? Leave a comment below and let me know. Uh, are you guys liking the new videos and the type of information I'm releasing? Yes or no? Let me know below. And uh, with that said, this is your guide and mentor, Alita Rafter. See you guys on the next one. Bye for now.